Hi everyone and welcome back. You know this week we've been talking about advanced hormone knowledge for you brainiacs out there. Good stuff too, huh? Okay, so the week in review so far, we've talked about how estrogens actually can be made after menopause, much less amounts of course, but our fat cells make estrone and we can also make it from DHEA and testosterone. We talked about how we need that lock and key situation with the receptor sites in order for the hormone to get inside the cell. And then we talked about the fact that very few people know that there's actually two different types of estrogen receptors. One is called alpha and one is called beta. Today we're going to talk about how this alpha receptor site and beta receptor sites are not equal. They're not equal. So here we have estrogen receptor alpha, estrogen receptor beta, and we see that estrogen receptor beta actually offers a protective effect over the alpha site for breast cancer. It's a lock and key kind of model with estrogen receptor beta, just like the estrogen receptor alpha, but those estrogens that bind to the beta sites seem to protect us from breast cancer. So the next question is, do different estrogens bind to different estrogen receptor sites? And the answer to that is yes, we know that there are. So estrone E1 binds preferentially to alpha the not protective receptor site. E2 estradiol binds equally to alpha and beta. And E3 estriol binds preferentially to the estrogen receptor beta site. Hmm. So that's why I created for women who are 10 years beyond menopause hormone support that has estriol and progesterone in it. And because estriol binds preferentially to the estrogen receptor beta site and progesterone, of course, helps us prevent estrogen dominance even with the ongoing E1 that we make from our fat cells and the conversion of E1 to E2 and back from E2 to E1. All right, so this week we've covered a lot in these short little videos. And so tomorrow we're going to be talking about the scientific reasoning behind DHEA dosing. And you may wonder, hmm, why did she talk about all that stuff with estrogen when we're going to really be talking about DHEA dosing? Wait until tomorrow because this is really important because DHEA is also over the counter and I want to make sure you know exactly how to use it. So if you think this was a good video, if you learned anything from it, please share it with your friends, your family, Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It encourages me to do more. So thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.